If you are having over extrusion or under extrusion problems, you need to calibrate your E-steps. To do this, you will need a pencil or some sort of marker and you will need a straw. First of all, cut the straw to exactly 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters and also cut slits from inside so you can easily put it on the printer and remove it. Now put it on the printer and then mark exactly 10 centimeters on the filament. Here is where I marked mine. Now what we are going to do is go to the computer and extrude about 100 millimeters. Now it's extruding. And as you can see it went past the where we started marking, which means it's extruding more than it should. So to fix this we first need to reduce our E-steps to something lower than what it is. So we go to our EE -E problem editor and enter a lower value in the extruder steps. I'm going to just change it from 470 to 450. Now we need to mark it again, so I'm putting the straw on the filament. And now I'm marking exactly 10 centimeters. Here is the mark. It's not that easily visible, but if you're watching on high quality, you should be able to see it. Now I'm going to extrude. As you can see, it's finished above this time, which means it's now under extrusion. Now we need to measure how much higher it and the mark is, and then extrude, uh, adjust our e steps accordingly. So I'm now measuring. I will show you in a bit. Um, yeah, let's. 687 millimeters. So now we need to adjust our E steps again. So open your EE Prom editor either on your 3D printer screen or OptoPrint, like I'm doing right now. First of all, we need to see how much it traveled. So, um, yeah, it's ninety three point eleven millimeters. So, let's copy the these current e steps value. Multiply it by 10,000 and then divide it by what we found. So 9311. And this is the E steps value that it should be. You can only enter two digits, so just round up the rest.
Let's check if it's saved. Yes, it did. Okay, I'm going to mark it one last time to see if it worked properly. can see the mark. Now I'm going to extrude it again. It's now extruding. As you can see, it stopped where exactly where it was supposed to stop, so it worked. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like below, and thanks for watching.